This is the Hungarian braided chain stitch and hand embroidery. It creates a thick braided line out of um, a reverse chain stitch basically, but with a little difference. So we'll see that here. I'm first gonna take a small stitch in my fabric and you can work this stitch, by the way, left to right, right to left, top to bottom, bottom to top, whatever's easier for you. So here I'm just creating a reverse chain stitch by making this little straight stitch coming up a little farther down the line, passing under the straight stitch, not picking up any fabric. I'm going to pull through and then go down in the same hole. And you can see that this creates a chain stitch. Now I'm coming up a little bit farther down the line and I'm going to pass underneath that straight stitch again, but this time I'm going to pull gently so that I don't pull all the way through. I wanna leave a loop open here. Now I'll go down in the same hole and I'm going to leave this chain stitch open like that so that I can access that inside stitch easily. Then move down the line, then Pick up the inside stitch and go over the loops of the thread there and then tighten up the thread with your needle in place. Then pass through leaving the loops open. Go down in the same hole. Leave the stitch nice and open like that so you can get inside it. Then pick up the inside stitch passing underneath it but over the loops of the working thread. Then pull the thread to tighten up around the needle. Pass through leaving the loops open and one more time here come up down your working down your line picking up the inside stitch going over the loops that are open and tightening up the thread I prefer to work the Hungarian braid stitch this way because it's a lot easier to access that inside stitch if you leave the loops of your stitch open and then tighten them up around the needle. In books, you don't usually see it diagrammed this way. You're just told to pick up that inside stitch, but it can be kind of difficult to get into it. So I just leave the stitch open and then tighten it up. This is a, a relatively quick stitch to work. It works up very quickly and it makes a nice decorative braided line that's rather heavy and has a little bit of texture to it. It's great for straight lines and curves and tight curves. So wherever you want a braided heavier line, this is a great stitch to use and it's kind of fun to make. I think it's really pretty actually. For your last stitch, you're gonna come up really close to the, to the second to the last stitch there so that you don't have a long tail at the end. Pick up that inside stitch, tighten the thread around the needle, and then you can just pull it all the way through since it's the last stitch, head down in the same hole. And that is the Hungarian braided chain stitch. For more tips and techniques on hand embroidery, stop by and visit me at Needle and Thread.